This is one part of one property at Longreach in Western Queensland, which has been added today to the drought declared list. It means two thirds of Queensland, an area bigger than most countries in the world, is now drought declared. That's why the Premier, Campbell Newman, is here today to announce an extra $20 million this financial year in drought assistance, a total of $31 million for this year. I think it's important that people across this state, particularly in the southeast, uh, understand uh, what people on the land are going through right now. Um, Scenes here today of water holes and dams that are drying up, of uh, almost no feed in the paddocks, uh, and of course animals uh, in many, uh, many locations that uh, are dying. And by the way, it's not the first time the owners of this property have hosted politicians to talk about drought. Eight years ago, they were going through the same situation. And if there's one thing I think that can sum up the sadness of drought in country life, it's this. You can imagine in years gone by, lots of country folk playing tennis. Country tennis players were doing Australia proud in Davis Cup over the years. Just look at that. A pretty sad sight in the drought-declared part of Queensland.